Hey everyone, Dr. Earl here. I'm sitting in my room. Uh, I'm about to play some guitar for a while before uh, one of my programs come on. Of a program that I love, Bob Mouse Network. Of course, it's Wednesday night. And something is, something's been bugging me for a while. And I need to, I need to wonder what, something here. This has been on my mind for a while, and don't perceive, and don't think I'm gay or anything like that, but it's just something that I've seen happen so many times with various people or musicians, especially, you know, right, you know musicians, basically, with, with the ones I'm going to bring up. You ever notice that the fit and trim singers that we used to love and respect back in the day, are now bloated? I mean, you look at Vince Neil of Motley Crue. When they first burst onto the scene back in 83, Vince Neil was a slim and trim dude that got all the girls wet in their pants. Now he's in his 50s, and all of a sudden he's got a, he's heavier, he's got, he's got a, Got out to here. Paul Diano from Iron Maiden, the former singer of Iron Maiden, prior to Bruce coming in, he's the same way. Mike Reno of Lubber Boy, he's three times bigger than what he was. Back in the early 80s videos, he was like the same way, fit and trim and stuff like that, slim, skinny, and now all of a sudden he's like, Bloated all the hell. And uh, all of a sudden, I'm just, and I'm just wondering, you know, what the fuck? Even Axl Rose has a little gut on him. And from what I heard, it's a lot better. It looks a lot better than what he did uh, during his uh, wilderness years. When um, in between uh, the last Guns N' Roses album and between his Guns N' Roses up until the reunion. And it's like, it's always bothered me. You know, it's like, it always concerned me. It, you know, uh, is it the drugs or was it going to rehab or something like that or getting off the drugs that does that to you? Because I remember Cece DeVille of Poison mentioning that when, during the time he was getting clean, he ballooned up to so-and-so pounds. He had to work off, do a little work, various workouts to um, get all that weight off. So, I'm just kind of wondering, you know, now at 51, I try to keep myself in shape as much as I can, whether it's walking, bike riding, uh, mostly I couldn't bike ride today because of the rain outside, but kind of makes you wonder, you know, Maybe some of these singers, do uh, you think these singers should lose some weight or do you, do you like them as they are? Is it a sign that they're still veterans, that they're still they're out there doing what they do? But still, it's kind of disturbing in a way. You know, I'm, I'm not knocking them. They're still good singers. They're still talented. But I think the, deep down inside, the true fans would love to see the old singers that they remembered still on that stage today. You know? So, if you agree or disagree, feel free to comment on the uh, comment section below this clip. And that's about it for now. Until something else comes up, I'm Dr. Earl. Subscribe to my channel. Rock it. Don't stop it.